Congratulations, Eileen. That's a fantastic result. Thank you so much. It's too dad. My old man. Thank you so much, Mr. Prosser. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Prosser. She's way too polite. We'll work on her. What she really meant was thanks. <laughs> I did not mean that. I did not use that kind of language, and I do not All condone right. it to my younger audiences watching. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. Get up off the ground. You okay? Oh my God, this is so bad. I literally, you look at it and you're like, oh, there's no way that was a hand injury. Ooh. Look at my body positioning here. You think I'm gonna go straight to my head, but like somehow I maneuver it and like turn so I go to like my upper back and like flip out of it. So my mom comes down and she's like, we should just go to the hospital, like just get checked out just in case. And I was like, we don't need to go to the hospital. Like nothing's broken, it's fine. We went to the hospital and everything was broken. But um, I'm supposed to have gotten surgery, but I'm postponing surgery until after World Champs because I want to be able to compete. The important thing is I can still ski. I mean, I can still grab, I can still do everything. So this is life on the road. I have a lot of stuff that I'm just moving around constantly, but I have a system, despite what my mom says. She says my biggest character flaw is that I'm messy, but I'll take it. I feel like that's not that bad of a character flaw. At least I'm like morally in the right place. You know what I mean? I think what she gets mad about is that I don't make my bed every day, but like, I'm just gonna sleep in it again. Okay. You had bread? Do you have bananas? Yeah. Ow. Why does it always hurt so bad when I put earrings in? You can get out right. Yeah, I can't really do anything. Yeah. Like, I can't tie my shoes, I can't get my jackets. How does it feel though? It feels fine. It doesn't hurt when I'm skiing. It just is, like, inconvenient. I broke the bone here, but it feels fine if I do that. So, as long as the thumb doesn't move, it's fine. Do you need help with the buckle? No. Is it tight enough? Yeah. Okay. I do this every day. Oh, yeah. Arms up. <laughs> Are you going to take your bag off? Oh, right. <laughs> so basically what I think that the most important thing is that we execute a really good switch seven. Yeah, like obviously that was the big thing the other day. Yeah, just remember like, uh, the angles, um, getting up off the ground, wide arms, you know, all the simple stuff, putting a bit of flip in your nines, that always helps. Mm -hmm. I think the same thing remains is that we, we focus on amplitude. Yeah. I think women's skiing right now is in a state of progression. Bigger tricks are being done for the first time and more people are doing those bigger tricks. And it feels good to make finals, for sure, um, but you know, I don't get a medal for qualifiers, I get a medal for finals, and so that's definitely what I'm focused on, so, yeah. For the most part, like, I know that superstitions are superstitions, but I talked to a mental coach from Red Bull, and they said that they were good, and it was good to have, like, a consistent routine, no matter how weird, before competing. Some people have, like, lucky underwear, or lucky socks, or whatever. Normally, I wear my lucky helmet, which has the lucky cat on the back. But I wore it yesterday and didn't do very well. So I was convinced that the cat needed feeding or just like wasn't feeling great. So I didn't wear the cat helmet today. I just wore my regular one.
course the act is being Last night was like the first night I didn't sleep super well. And I think that's mostly a function of like feeling unprepared for the double that I have to do today. Less about the contest, more about the tricks. It looks pretty windy. The flags at the top of the pipe are going. Yep. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that good. was it. I'm gonna do it again. Really? Yeah. Y you're okay? Yeah, it's fine. I had the doctor check me out. She said I'm fine. And uh, still be, uh, what do you call it, uh, mindful of the wind, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, safety okay. first. So proud yeah. of you. I love, okay. you got this. Okay. Bye. Okay. The conditions were tough, and it, but they were tough for everybody. And I'm happy to have gone out and tried my best, and happy to walk away with another gold medal. And I'm the first um, skier in history to win two gold medals at the same world champs. So that's kind of insane. This is my room. Ta-da! Welcome. You can, it's kind of funny because. This wall started as my running bibs. And then I started skiing, so you can see that I start adding the bibs in between there. This is my balcony. And it's really cool because I can watch the sun rise from here, and you can watch the sunset from there. And you can also scout out how many people are on the beach, because if it's super busy, then I'm probably not gonna go. So I just finished up the best season of my life by far with X Games and World Championships. And so now the focus turns to Beijing 2022, which is obviously a huge milestone that I've been thinking about for a long time. So from now until then, I think that is my number one priority. And then in the fall of 2022, I will be starting at Stanford. So that's gonna be a whole nother experience from anything that I've experienced before. I think it's just kind of crazy that I talk about all this stuff like it's normal and just realizing that I'm really privileged to have these opportunities and have the people around me that I do but also it's terrifying so I guess being okay with that just being grateful in general is something that I'm working on for sure and I am feeling very grateful for everything for skiing, for modeling, for random spontaneous things for good food, good travels, my mom, my cats, grandma. It's been a good ride and I'm really excited to see where it goes.